Welcome back. Daryl Zek joins us to talk about the census. I'm going to start off easy. What is the census, Daryl? Uh, it's something that we need to do every 10 years, and Congress mandates that we do that. And we want to take a complete count of everybody living in the United States, and that's citizens and non-citizens alike. And why is it so important that everyone participate? Well, as a nation, the, uh, the funding that's available is about $400 billion a year that get distributed to communities across the United States. And if we don't have an accurate count here, some of that money we're going to miss out on. And we don't want to miss out on any money. Not at all, especially nowadays. Well, let's talk about the form. You're going to start getting these in the mail. Some people got them last week. Some people did get them last week. Uh, there's two different ways that you're getting the form. Okay. In most cases, they're coming in the mail, mm -hmm. and those should arrive sometime this week. Some people last week, they actually started door to door passing those out in areas that have been hard to count in the past or uh, smaller towns that have a lot of post office boxes mm -hmm. just to ensure that everybody's getting a form. Now you brought an example of what the it census did. form looks like. This is an example. That is it. Okay. And there are 10 questions. Should take no more than 10 minutes to answer. Uh, there's a space in that for every member in the household. Okay. Okay. So about 10 minutes to fill it out, turn it back in. Do you have to pay postage to return it? Not at all. There's an envelope that's included in that, so once it's filled out, it goes back into that envelope and sent in. No postage at all. So basically, at this time, we just need to drive people, get people to take 10 minutes, fill out the form, return it, and hopefully we get a high count for this area. Right. Uh, last time around, we had an issue with that. Mm -hmm. uh, that was 10 years ago. We had two tracks in Terre Haute that were not well received as far as the uh, amount of forms that were turned back in. It was a less than 50% return rate on that, which makes the census job a lot harder, and then you're looking at uh, more inaccuracies there when they're trying to collect data door to door. Let's talk about deadline. When do these forms really need to be turned in by? Well, census day for the entire United States is April 1st, so okay. of course in a perfect world they would like to have every form in the United States back in by April 1st. But we know it's not perfect. That's not perfect, and so not everybody's going to get it in. Yeah, and what happens if they don't? What's the next step? Well, they can continue to do that. I mean, you're going to get three mailings, and then they're going to send somebody to knock on your door. Okay. So probably from about mid to late April um, until probably the 1st of August, those folks at the census is hired for temporary jobs, enumerators, mm -hmm. they'll be out going door to door to visit those folks that didn't return a form. Now, if folks have any questions, they just want to get a little more information, where would you encourage them to go to find out more? Uh, the census has actually got a pretty good website. Okay. It's, it's pretty in-depth, and it's simply 2010census.gov. Okay, 2010census.gov. If you have any questions, again, some folks have already received this paperwork. Some people will get it this week and maybe early next week, April 1st. That's the deadline, so let's take 10 minutes out of our day, fill out the paperwork, and put it back in the mailbox because we want to make sure that we get 100% participation, right? That's the goal. Yes, that is the goal. Thank you so much, Daryl. Thank you. Appreciate it.